Hello everyone. I recently demonstrated an iteration of our Document Conversion API connector that retrieves worksheets from an Excel document and allows you to move those worksheets around your file storage ecosystem. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate a similar action that actually splits your Excel files into entirely separate worksheets so they can be stored independently of one another. We'll run through a quick demonstration where we create separate files using the content of each respective worksheet without changing the original file at all. Let's start off here on the flow diagram page with an Instant Cloud Flow set up. We're using an Instant Cloud Flow just so we have the most control over our data from start to finish. Let's add in a step to retrieve the Excel file we want to split. I'm using a file stored in SharePoint, so I'm finding the SharePoint get file content action and then adding that into my workflow. Once we finish selecting an Excel file with multiple worksheets, we can incorporate the file splitting step. Let's click new step and type cloud immersive into the search bar. From here, we can go ahead and select the Cloud Immersive Document Conversion Connector with the lime green logo from the list of options below. I'm jumping straight to the actions list because my authorization details are already saved on this connector, but if you haven't used this connector before, you'll need to quickly name your connection and supply an API key instead. If you don't have an API key already, not to worry, you can get one for free with a limit of 800 API calls per month by registering a free account on the Cloudversive website. From the actions list, let's type something like split Excel to find our action, and then let's go ahead and select that action when we find it. To configure this action's parameters, we just need to incorporate our file content via the dynamic content window and then we can give our file a random name with the correct extension. The documentation instructions for this third parameter do get cut off, but we want to set this boolean to yes so we can retrieve the contents of our Excel document directly. Now we can easily set up a single create file action that generates a new Excel document for each worksheet we have. Let's click new step, then search for whatever create file action we want. And once we open up that action, let's quickly configure our storage location details. After that, let's click on the file name field and select worksheet name from the dynamic content window. The moment we do that, Power Automate will automatically kick in with an apply to each control because it knows the worksheet name object actually contains more than one value. Let's add the XLSX file extension next to our dynamic content, and then let's click on the file content field and select worksheet contents from the dynamic content window. This object also contains multiple distinct values, so the apply to each control will cycle through each available worksheet name and worksheet content object until it creates a number of files proportionate to the number of worksheets in our original document. Now let's see this in action. Let's take a moment to save our flow. And once that wraps up, let's go ahead and initiate a manual test. Once our flow finishes running, let's head to our folder and make sure our new files are there. We should now have as many new files available to us as we had worksheets in our original document. My original file had two worksheets with generic names, so I now have two files called Sheet 1 and Sheet 2, respectively. That's all there is to it. We now have an extremely easy way to break down our larger Excel files into separate files and share that content anywhere in our connected application ecosystem. That concludes this demonstration. If you found this helpful for your projects, definitely check back in on our channel for more useful tips and demonstrations in Power Automate.